Hello everyone, my name is Sergeant Tomic. I'm a head of hardware and procurement department here in Microelectronica. I would like to take a few minutes of your time to introduce you to our company, its product portfolio, its mission and of course the goals. Microelectronica or Micre, as we are actually known in the industry, originated as a magazine company back in 1990s, publishing articles on all, on all kinds of embedded electronics. After that, we have evolved uh, by acquiring new talents to work with us, by making smart moves in the industry and finally getting ourselves into a unique position on the market. The core business of the company are actually development tools, both on hardware and software side for embedded world. Actually, we are focused on uh, hardware and software innovations uh, with an approach streaming from a single idea to reduce project development time. In a um, rapidly changing world, uh, we believe that making a positive impact uh, should actually be on everybody's mind. If you take a look on our product portfolio, you will, which I'm going actually to introduce in details a bit later, you will see that we actually produce entire tool chains for all major microcontroller architectures. Our products are also designed in a modular uh, way so that you can combine them together, which actually makes them uh, perfect for um, proof of concept solutions uh, and uh, rapid prototyping. All of this actually um, increases efficiency by actually reducing uh, time uh, needed for project development and uh, actually reducing time to market as an essential business component. The results of course come faster and uh, but it is very important to say that they actually come uh, with uncompromising the quality of work for a single bit or uh, with taking a, the additional risk for during your project development. This is actually one of our this is actually our number one priority. Uh, Micro has also mapped all the elements that are actual the key elements that are needed for uh, an engineer to actually constantly improve themselves. No matter whether you are an experienced engineer, beginner, student, or enthusiast, you will be able uh, to find the tools that are, that will actually make your projects stand up. We are always open for new ideas, talents, experts, and all other. Uh, things that will push us further. We are actually the company that has uh, one hardware product per day and actually lists more than 1,500 products in our product portfolio. Of course, with this number of products comes an in-house production facility. We actually have two fully automated SMD lines with through-hole soldering, wave soldering and selective soldering machines. Our marketing team is here to actually design and provide all the necessary documentation, boxes and packages for our products. We actually like to keep things neat and tidy, comprehensive, but also pretty as well. Um, sales team to actually support our customers, logistics to ship worldwide. We sell and ship in more than 138 countries, so we just have our own web sales. But we also list uh, all major uh, distributors in, in an embedded world. Uh, our internal processes are handled by our own uh, ERP system. We do not use SAP, Navision or similar, customizing it but we rather went for creating our own web-based system from scratch uh, to actually support our needs. We see this as a value when you have uh, this number of products and you do a lean manufacturing, internal logistics is something that is of uh, great importance. At last but not the least, there is uh, our design service department, which you will be presented more later on during this uh, course of this presentation. As already mentioned, we provide entire tool chains for uh, every microcontroller architecture that we actually support. This means that whatever tool you need for your development purpose to during the course of your project, you will find it within our ecosystem. Uh, this also means that when it comes to a problem or an issue or you need additional support, we are the only address, we are the only phone call that you need to make to resolve your problem or to get an additional support. Uh, I would like now to, to actually go through one of the tool chains that we actually that we make and to uh, tell you more about all the aspects of this uh, of it. Um, 
Every two chains consist of uh, three, uh, three different um, uh, sections. First of all, you have uh, compilers, uh, which you need to use to make your code for your microcontroller. Then there are programmers, and in the end you have uh, development boards that you actually use to try out the projects or to do a rapid prototyping or similar. For the compiler, on the compiler side, we actually uh, do our own compilers. We do them from scratch. We do not use GCC. For the command line, we write our own uh, front end, back end, uh, code generator, linker, and so on. Uh, this way, we have a we are in control of the whole process. We we can do whatever we want, and we can. Uh, tweak the compiler to be more efficient in the ways and to customize that in the ways that uh, customer or user user needs. Um, we believe in a freedom of choice. We have compilers here for Pascal, Basic, and C programming languages. And you, uh, considering that we support different uh, microcontroller architectures, we actually have. Uh, these compilers in seven different flavors as we support uh, seven different architectures. Uh, for with uh, when we are already when we are there, so for the on the architecture side, we actually support everything from uh, microchip, 8-bit, 16-bit, 32-bit uh, microcontrollers. We support ARM, ARM Cortex M architecture from different vendors like NXP, ST Microelectronics, or TXS Instruments but also many more uh, to come. We support uh, the uh, AT51 core, um, also the Atmel core, which is now, of course, microchip Atmel 8-bit uh, division. Uh, therefore, you can see that we have uh, seven different architectures supported with three, uh, three different programming languages. Uh, which means that we actually have 21 different compilers uh, listed in our portfolio. Um, second thing that you actually need when you uh, develop your, uh, your application are programmers, which are used to download the code you, act you wrote with your compiler into the MCU. Uh, <coughs> these uh, programmers can be embedded on the actual development board or they can be provided as a separate tools as well. Uh, we have both of these versions. We have boards that actually have uh, the programmers uh, hosted and we have a separate, uh, separate products that are actually programmers. I will, uh, like during the, the board presentation, I will show you uh, what I mean. On the, the, the last uh, thing which you need on your development tool chain when you want to do a project are development boards. We have different type of these. Uh, our flagship products are actually uh, motherboard-like development boards that that are actually um, that are fully featured boards. Beside the microcontroller unit that's on there, you also have a lot of the, uh, additional peripherals that enable you to try out your code uh, without having to, you know, reach out for uh, uh, wires or different soldering or additional tools and so on and so on. Uh, other than that, we have uh, like small, smart display boards. Um, we call them micromedias. We have them in different flavors, different sizes, 3.5, uh, 3, 3.5, 4, 5 and 7 inch. And we have them in uh, hosting a different kind of microcontrollers. Let's say that we have them at least in seven different MCU architectures. So when you uh, you, uh, you can see that we have a lot of them uh, there. Um, then there are some starter boards like clicker and clicker two boards and they are like, used for some, um, let's say for some easy entrance into a programming uh, and uh, embedded world in general. And at the end comes an add-on boards that are actually boards that you add into your, to your development boards to make the whole project. Uh, I would like now. I would now like to go through the through these uh, types of boards that I just listed, and I would like to introduce them one by one to you, so that you can see what are actually the major products in our product portfolio. An example of our fully featured motherboard-like development board is an Fusion for ARM board, which we have here. This is actually the eighth generation of our flagship product. 
Uh, with this generation, we decided to do some improvements and to actually present things that are not uh, so far not seen in the embedded development tools. Uh, the, this board actually features an onboard programming and debugger unit. Uh, this version of, of this unit is called uh, Code Grip. Uh, what is actually uh, unique here is that this uh, debugger unit supports uh, programming and debugging of a Wi Fi network, which is actually, I am not aware that any of these, uh, anything similar exists on the embedded market currently. Uh, there are two types of interfaces that can be used here. Uh, one is Wi-Fi that are, uh, I just mentioned and the other one is the USB uh, communication over the uh, USB-C uh, connector. It is very important to, uh, to mention that uh, the USB part is also compatible with the USB uh, 2.0 uh, standard as well. Uh, for the uh, for the code grip unit, uh, having a Wi-Fi uh, support is, it's, let's say, very, very convenient uh, when you need to have an applications that are, you know, um, located in a harsh environment, uh, not easy to access environment, or you just want to do a remote debugging support for your customers that are, you know, far away from you as well. So you can connect to the board uh, from your uh, laptop directly with an Wi-Fi direct access, or you can use the uh, you know, existing Wi-Fi network in your facility to access uh, to the board. On the other side, there is an enhanced power supply unit. This unit uh, can, is capable of providing 3 amps per rail on 3, both 3.3 and 5 volts, which is quite an enough, uh, more than enough for um, or any, any kind of embedded uh, application. Uh, other than that, there are five microbus sockets here, uh, which are actually used to support uh, an add-on board. Microbus is actually a standard which we invented, which we, uh, the pin out, which we actually standardized, and uh, which is actually used to support uh, add-on boards to extend the application of this board. The, uh, the famous add-on board, uh, actually the, the add-on board uh, line that is currently in focus in general here with us and in the world in general are the click boards. And this is also our product line and more about this I will be telling you later on during this course. Uh, what is actually uh, very important here is that Microbus uh, is widely accepted uh, all over the world and uh, any uh, major semiconductor vendor embraces that and puts them uh, on their own development boards and getting access to our clipboards portfolio as well. Um, the clipboard portfolio is quite rich, you will see it later on uh, and it enables uh, a pretty extensive um, uh, it can enable you a large number of extensions so you can make a whole variety of applications uh, for your project. Uh, the other things that are here on this board are actually the new MCU card standard where we, the guidelines that we had where we designing this were that we want to support every microcontroller unit there, you know, currently available on the market. We want to support it from uh, I don't know, low pin count, like 3248 pin count, uh, to very extensive high uh, pin count MCUs from all uh, vendors. And with that said, we needed to design, uh, we needed to choose, to make a design and to find a connector which, is, which will actually suit all of that. Uh, with this uh, MCU card, you can actually support currently all available uh, MCUs um, the, um, <clears throat> there is also, on the card itself, uh, there is also support for five uh, different microbus sockets, so uh, embedded this standard into your application will enable you uh, that as well. We provide, uh, the plan is actually to provide the support uh, for, to, pro to provide for our customers a service to customize the cards and to actually provide the MCU. Uh, which is of interest to, to the customer. Therefore, we are going to be having like more than 1,000 different products, uh, different MCU card products. Uh, the middle part of the system is actually reserved for the display parts. There is a new TFT, the new display board standard that we also did. Uh, it will support TFT, OLED, ink, and similar displays, and um, LCD graphic, LCD display uh, as something that's a standard for outputting the the values in, in embedded is also uh, present there. 
Uh, other than that, we have uh, buttons, LEDs and switches on, on the, on the port, microcontroller port, so you can easily see and debug uh, your code uh, as well. Also Ethernet, the USB host and device interfaces, uh, USB UART, uh, debug interface for selecting an external debugger if, if necessary, and so on. Uh, what is actually new here also is that uh, powering up the system is done over the capacitive touch button interface, resetting the MCU as well. So this is a, uh, we see this as a more, more robust than a simple uh, button switch on, on, the, on, on the design. Uh, the powering options for this board are actually USB power, uh, external power supply from uh, 12 volts uh, DC, providing the 24 watts of power and uh, the battery connector. We also provide uh, the battery charger. So by connecting the, let's say, lithium ion battery here, you can make this uh, device, we can make this system to be a um, uh, fully isolated system that can work in any environment. So complete galvanic isolation uh, is there. Micromedia boards are actually our smart display solution for, uh, for having a, let's say, a development platform, but also a platform that can be installed into the end device, actually. So uh, we decided you can use it to make your own graphical user interfaces on your devices. We have a whole variety of uh, Micromedia boards. We, they come in, uh, let's say, three, uh, four, and five inches and of course the biggest one that we have is actually seven inches micromedias but we also uh, have them in different flavors like you can have one with a bezel that actually enables you to integrate them fully into your design by just putting them inside your casing they have they also come with an uh, adhesive tape so you can uh, just put them and glue them all together to your casing um, the other types of micromedia that we have are actually the ones that are come with uh, frames, mounting frames, mounting holes. You can just put them and, and, uh, into your industrial applications and some standard development boards that actually come with, with the mounting holes within a PCB frame. Um, the type of displays that we actually use here are capacitive and uh, displays with capacitive and resistive touch and the type of the display itself is actually TFT. Uh, what's actually interesting for these boards is that they are also a development boards. They have a lot of onboard features there, you know, it's not just a display. There's in host MCU, there are peripherals like Wi-Fi, like uh, uh, Ethernet, USB, uh, accelerometers, temperature sensors and so on and so on. So it's practically a development board and an um, end product uh, all-in-one solution. Uh, what's interesting with the 7-inch Micromedia boards is, is that they come with an MCU card standard as well. So you can practically uh, use the same MCU cards here as with our uh, flagship products like uh, Fusion for ARM uh, products. You just, you just need to you know, use, take the card from one system and practically put it on the other and the same code will work both on the Micromedia and board and the Fusion for ARM system. Also on the Micromedia uh, boards, what's, what's quite interesting uh, is that uh, these boards are very convenient for your, um, you know, for the, for your uh, um, installation without having you know, to prepare any additional additional, uh, they're, they're very suitable for customization. For instance, uh, we have a lot of requests from our customers. Uh, they see the value of there, so they don't have to do their own, uh, their own development, but rather they can ask us to customize, to remove some parts, to add some parts, or let's say to make a totally different solution based uh, on these boards. Uh, these boards uh, do not have an onboard programmer. That's the main difference to the, to the system, uh, to the big development system boards, but they, uh, need to, they need to have an uh, external programmer connected for programming. Uh, this is a code grid programmer which is in the form of an external programmer. You can use this one to connect to Micromedia and to program and debug, of course, your code. Uh, also, the, the micro, uh, the, for the Micromedia boards, we have 
we have designed the shields they come like this so when you need actually to to uh, extend the functionality of the board you can just add the shields into your design and to, then you connect them to the to the uh, the whole variety of ecosystem of click boards practically uh, or you can for some micromedia boards like let's say seven inch capacity micromedia boards you also have and uh, micro bus shuttle connectors which can be used to practically connect uh, my, uh, connect also the clickboards to the micromedia boards through, by the means of the microbus shuttle interface. Clickboards are actually a uh, micro E brand of add on boards for the microbus standard actually. Uh, what's interesting here is that what we actually did by, while designing Microbus Standard, well, the goal was to, uh, to achieve that with a minimum set of pins, you actually have, have the maximum expandability. Uh, therefore, the clickboards are, let's say that all uh, the variety of uh, ICs or, or MCUs are, or that you can actually put an application that you actually do with a clickboard is huge. Uh, there is, you know, for clickboard you can use any kind of different uh, sensors, actuators, communication modules and so on and so on. Uh, the clickboard family is the widest family in terms of number of products in microelectronica. Uh, we have just reached, uh, in a month back, we have reached uh, 700 clickboards released. We actually have one clickboard released per day. So each day, 10 o'clock in the morning, you can check our website and you can see that we have a new product released. And it's actually, a, it's a, the, the biggest probability is that it is a clickboard. So uh, this ecosystem is um, rapidly, rapidly uh, being extended, rapidly advancing. It gets uh, focus and traction from, not just from us, but from other uh, vendors and they actually like the system because they can with this uh, you know with a huge portfolio like this you can make any kind of application you wish so more and more uh, more and more uh, vendors are actually putting microbus standard on their boards and thus providing the access to the whole variety of the clickboards that we actually uh, we actually provide and sell and support uh, on the other side the clickboard, uh, the clipboard ecosystem uh, is uh, is practically adding value to other ecosystems like Arduino, Raspberry Pi, Bigibon, and so on. So uh, we like to say that we are not competing; we are adding value there uh, by having the uh, shield balls like this, just made for other ecosystems for our, let's say, Arduino. Uh, you practically e enable uh, that they use the click boards as their extension boards as well. Uh, there is an, um, quite, uh, quite interest uh, for these boards. We have a lot of requests from actually vendors to support their ICs on the click board. We see ourselves as the marketing channel for them because you know giving somebody an ic to try it out you know you may just imagine a field application engineer going to the customer and providing them with a simple ic in some package uh, which is usually small not really human friendly and so on so uh, what can I, what can you do with it i mean you you cannot really take it and try it out you need to you know do an extra effort to provide a pcb to solder that and to try it out um, and, uh, while, while uh, when you provide this uh, with the, in a clickboard interface, uh, you can actually enable an uh, FIE engineer to you know just go to the customer and provide them a clickboard which can be easily connected to any let's say any host board that has a microbus socket. And uh, as already mentioned, there is more and more of them uh, coming every day. Or they can just you know use wires to connect them to the proto board and so on and so on. So um, I, I can you know, say that field application engineers in, in the companies actually love us because they have a very neat way to show out the, what their RC functionalities. And um, uh, this is actually the reason why we came up with a program called Chips or Clicks that you can actually, that vendors comes to us with a request uh, for support in the clickboard ecosystem and then we actually do that for them. We also provide a customization for our customers as well, 
Uh, there are you know, more and more people uh, using the clickboards to provide the I would say easy upgradability of their products. Uh, you know, they use them for their end products. They just put a microbus socket there and use clickboards. Later on, they can just you know remove the clickboard and add uh, some other clickboard uh, and so on, and so on. So um, clickboards are pretty pretty neat for rapid prototyping as well, having a proof of concept, making the applications and so on. So uh, the easiest way actually to, to provide uh, the functionality to your system is just to select, let's say, a clickboard. This one is an Embus Master Click and you just, you know, use a clickboard, take it and you put it in your development board and you just update your code and you're done practically. You have altered your application without having to you know, make a new board, to reroute the board and so on and so on. Tomorrow if you don't need an Embus click, Embus communication into your design, you just remove it, you take like an BLE uh, click, this is a BLE sign click, you take it, you put it in the socket and you rewrite your code and you have a BLE enabled device already there so you don't need to do any kind of changes into your design. This way you actually, you know, uh, you actually remove the, the risks on, on doing the pr uh, hardware development yourselves. Uh, and, you know, whenever you do a hardware design or an update, you have a probability, you know, not to make it functional out of the first time, so you do a revision. And then if it's bad, then you do another revision and so on and so on. And also you have to do it all logistics, you have to buy parts, you have to make the PCBs, you have to assemble everything. And, and in the end, when a prototype becomes functional, you have to go for mass production. So we, we actually, uh, with the clickboards and the host boards, we actually remove these uh, risks on the development side for you. So there is a quite neat and efficient way that you do a rapid prototyping on your own. You just use your, click, you use your development board, let's say a fusion board or micromedia board or any other. Uh, and um, you just, you know, you just need to have a microbus there or to use a shield to get a microbus into that ecosystem uh, and uh, other than that you need you know to select other than from out of more than 700 different green boards the ones that you actually need for your application uh, and you just do like a lego like system you select the let's say for for the fusion for arm board you know you select the pick boards you need you put them into the microbus socket then you select the mcu card you need actually we provide a lot of these uh, different options for different kind of microcontrollers. Uh, you just get the card that you need, actually, that you would like to work with. You put it on your uh, on your development board. Then, let's say, if you need a I don't know display interface, you can select some of the display uh, display boards that we actually provide. This is a seven-inch TFT board, which you can easily you know add to your system. You just need to then take uh, some of the compilers that we have. I already mentioned that we have like uh, 21 different compilers for seven different architectures that we support in C, Pascal and basic programming languages. You can download uh, for the clickboards, we provide uh, very documented examples. Uh, each clickboard has, has a very documented examples into the, actually every product of ours has, have, uh, has examples on our uh, community website for, for um, projects, which is called Lipstock. Out of that, you know, out of compiler, you can actually, you know, there's an interface where you can download the examples for your click boards and for the display board and for a fusion board as well. And you just download them all and you combine them all together to get the functionality that you want. So with, with this kind of ecosystem where everything is uh, like, uh, Lego-like Lego system, you can easily do proof of concept for your design, you can easily do rapid prototyping and so on and so on. So you get to your, um, you cut up, uh, you cut on your development time, on your project execution time, you get uh, to the, actually you get to the market more faster, which is of course essential for for, you know, in, in currently a uh, world that is ra so rapidly changing, getting uh, to the market is quite important part of the, of the business model, actually. Uh, other than that, when you do, let's say, uh, the whole, whole development and you wrap it up and you know that this is it, this is what you need, we can, you know, additionally provide uh, the service to customize something, we can provide the service to 
let's say, make a, a unique and, uh, and uh, all-in-one board that will have all the functionality that you did, which can be done either by, you know, our own, uh, our own uh, which can be done uh, by customizing uh, some of the existing products or by doing a totally separate product with uh, this product specification that we provide and that is actually processed by our design service department. Okay, first we will take the MCU card and insert that into the MCU card socket on the board. Then we'll take, uh, let's say for, for instance, uh, some temperature and humidity sensors. For this purpose, we can choose, let's say, temp and Q-mate click. And we will insert that into the, um, into the microbus socket. Uh, after that, let's say uh, we will monitor ambient light uh, and select one of the ambient light clicks, uh, like ambient sixth, for instance. Then we come to the uh, UV index monitoring. For that purpose, there is an UV4 click. Uh, what we actually usually, when you monitor some parameters, you weather parameters, you actually need to timestamp them so you can have an uh, uh, you can have a, a feeling what time uh, you know what parameters were present at what time. And for this purpose, we will use a real-time clock. Seven click. This it will. We will uh, get acquired time, time stamps from him. We will display the results uh, locally on the TFT five inch screen, which we are going to be placing here. And this is going to be a local monitoring on, on the local station actually, but. We can also, since we are acquiring all the parameters, we can also, let's say, uh, you know, usually in a real world you need to monitor these parameters uh, remotely as well. So for this purpose, for instance, we could uh, send everything to the cloud solution. Uh, we have our own cloud for, for the clickboards. We provide a click cloud uh, 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 instance so that everybody can actually use this cloud to, for its uh, development purposes. Uh, to do so, we would need to get a G2C click. This is a clickboard which, actu which actually uh, has an um, uh, interface to our click cloud. So, what this demo, to end to summarize, what this demo is going to be doing, we will be acquiring the data from the clickboards. We will be getting the timestamp as well. Uh, we will show everything uh, locally on the uh, TFT 5 inch screen. And also we will send the data to the cloud so we can do a remote monitor. Okay, so I have set up everything. Now this is, you can see how it is, it is actually to assemble a rapid prototype for uh, let's say a, a real time demo by just using, combining one of the, uh, the one of our uh, development boards and add on uh, click, click boards actually. Well, uh, click portfolio is like, 700 plus boards and uh, it supports everything by, I don't know, uh, sensors, actuators, uh, communication modules and so on. So, uh, so out of that portfolio, I mean, you can always find a solution for your real-time application. Okay, so one, now when we set up a hardware, uh, then you, we get to the, uh, our compiler, our software tools, where you actually need to write a code. Uh, to write code, it should be rather easy because, you know, for every clipboard that we actually uh, provide, you, you have examples that come with our compilers. They, are, they, are, they come uh, out of box, so you can download them from, um, from the um, Lipstock community site. So for all of these clipboards, for instance, uh, since we decided to use MCU card for MSTM, we decided to use the STM32 microcontroller. Uh, this is an ARM uh, Cortex M4 based MCU here. Uh, so you will need a, a, a Micro C4 ARM compiler. You will need to download that, install them on your uh, laptop PC, and then you should go to uh, you should go to from the from the actually from the compiler. You go to uh, you just find the clickboards that you selected here and uh, there is a library section, you find a clickboard and you download the examples for, for each of these clickboards, the, the clickboards that we have just uh, placed here. Uh, after that, you just need to, let's say, use, uh, you download the library as an example. So after that, you need to combine 
these examples all together. You know, I mean, to, to get the parts that's reading the, the temperature from one part, the, one, the ambient, uh, let's say for ambient light, you get the, the readings. So you combine everything and you get from all the examples, the, the part of the code that you need and com combine them all together. And of course, display them onto the uh, screen and send them to the G2C click. So once we set, uh, set up everything, made the example and programmed the MCU, uh, now you just need to plug in. Let's say we take the, uh, I have selected to use the external power supply here. So you plug it in and then power up the board. You can see the uh, demo is initializing, checking all the peripherals, getting the initial readings out of them and of course connecting to the cloud identifying uh, uh, doing the identification and connection so you can see that it's it's close to to finish its uh, initialization after that it will show up on the screen uh, the gui that we have designed to show all the par perimeters on the screen yeah there it is so you can see we have a uh, temperature uh, we have actually this is a timestamp here with a date then we have a temperature and humidity readings. Uh, we have the UV index and the infrared, it, the, the same sensor also read them both. And the uh, luminosity actually, the uh, ambient light. Okay, I'll go now to the temperature and humidity click, put my hand on it. You can actually see the humidity changing. Then let's see the ambient light. I'll put my finger over it. You see actually that the, humidity, the ambient light value is actually changing, you know, how I, I'm moving my finger. Uh, then you have the UV index, actually. This is here, it's uh, the click that, that's, that's giving us that data. Uh, after that, we have the RTC7 click, which is actually um, a real-time clock, and uh, he's responsible for providing the timestamp here. Okay, so this is the display on the local station. You can see uh, this is actually the, the showing the results, the parameters on the local station. And uh, we, we also said that we have the uh, cloud uh, interface as well. So G2C Click is actually uh, connected to the Click Cloud, which is a proprietary micro cloud provided for the Click boards. Uh, it can, uh, at the moment, it can be used free of charge for uh, for the demo purposes, for evaluation, and for project development in general, for the clicks boards, of course. Uh, I will now show you how, how the click cloud, how this thing looks on, on a click cloud. Uh, you go to the uh, web browser, and then you practically type clickcloud.io. You get to the logging page. Okay, so my parameters are actually already set. You will, of course, be setting yours before you, you, you will register, of course, before you, you use the cloud. Now, when I log in, I will be, I will be going to the dashboards that we uh, set. You can see here there is a, a couple of dashboards, but one of them is weather station. So you can actually, for your application, you will, of course, uh, define your own dashboard and, and name it, uh, you know, based on your application purpose. So here you can see this is our weather station demo. You can see the actual, this, these are the timestamp parameters. Then you can see here actually the temperature, humidity values. And what we also saw on the local station, you see the ambient light, UV light and infrared light. Of course, you can see that all of this shown here is actually see here it's present here on the local display as well so okay so you can now see how actually easy it is to make a prototype to make a uh, let's say a rapid prototype or proof of concept uh, solution for further evaluation okay now let's see uh, if you want to make this uh, demo being uh, let's say a handheld device, then we should uh, take a look at our product portfolio and maybe choose something that's more suitable for, you know, handling for 
uh, every day is handling, so you can put it in, you know, the, the, the size of the system is, let's say, a bigger. This is, a, this is very convenient for desk, desk usage and so on. But if you want to make your demo actually uh, um, that you can move it, use it as a handheld device or similar, then let's say we could actually try out uh, a product like this. This is a Micromedia 7 capacity board. And this board is also, uh, this is a smart display solution and you can practically, you know, let's see how, how we'll set this up to actually show the same demo here. Uh, this board uh, uses the MCU card interface as well as this one. So what we'll now do is actually, the easiest way is actually to remove this card and put it on the Micromedia board. Then we need to interface the clipboards to the, to the Micromedia board as well. Uh, Micromedia has two ways to interface the, the, the Microbus sockets and the click boards. One of them by using the Microbus shuttle uh, interfaces here. This can be done by, you know, by uh, doing, using the flat cables, so you go out from Micromedia. And uh, the, the, this interface is very suitable when you need to put the click board somewhere specific and not, uh, not to be located on the board itself. And uh, the other way to, to actually uh, interface the clickboards is by using uh, Micromedia shields. And uh, so now we will use the Micromedia 7 shield and connect it to the board itself. Yeah, there it is. And, and the only thing left is actually to move the clickboards that we need, you know, from the system to the board. Okay, so we move the temperature and humidity in the ambient light, UV click, the RTC, there it is, okay, so there it is, and course the G2C to go to the cloud. For the power supply we should use uh, the battery power supply here so we make it a handheld device as planned. Okay there it is. And there it is. So now you have the same application actually running on the Micromedia board making it a let's say a handheld device suitable for the for taking it with you and so on and so on. You can see the same functionality. Okay, so to mention a few more things, actually when you, you see here we have, we did the uh, interface with the cloud solution by using the G2C click, which is actually a Wi-Fi communication module. But for instance, if you want to do, I don't know, uh, if you are somewhere in a remote location where you don't have Wi-Fi access, you could also use the, uh, let's say, the um, mobile network. So you just take this click out and put, let's say, another communication interface and you go, or you, you send your data over the mobile or let's say the uh, LoRa interface or let's say some other of the wireless interface that we actually provide I don't MB, IoT, and so on and so on. Okay, so uh, if you can see, the possibilities are practically unlimited. You have more than 700 clickboards on, on the five microbus sockets, and you can combine them all together. At the end, I would like to thank you all for your attention. I hope I managed to uh, get you familiar with the company, its product portfolio, the mission and the goals. But, you know, don't hesitate to ask if you, if you have any additional questions later on.